Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Migrant Being Migrant. We have a lot to ac- we have a lot to accomplish today. I am going to go over everything that we have to do for New Year's Eve, and it's a lot. I have a list here that I'll be referring to when you see me look down, and I have my trusty cup of tea. It's almost empty. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I put away all the Christmas stuff this morning. I still have, remember I said I bought these beautiful candles that I thought were, you know, batteries in and they come on at dusk and go off during the night and they don't, they're all individual. So I'll never use, and I finally thought of a use and I'm giving them all to my sister Karen for her church. Figure they'll use them on the altar and stuff. They're really nice and they're brand new. So that's it. But busy, 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 because i got to take my glasses off. I can't see. That made no sense. I have to go through this house today and clean. That's part of my New Year's things. Everything I'm going to tell you is tradition somewhere. We have a lot of somewheres that are really strange. But one of the big things for New Year's to remember, if you want to play along, is... Everything that you do on New Year's Day should set you up for the whole year. So, number one on the list, no cleaning on New Year's Day. No cleaning, no laundry, no taking trash out, no emptying the house of anything. You're not supposed to bring anything out because that means you'd be losing things all year. And you're not supposed to do any cleaning because you're setting yourself up to clean as your big project all year. So truly, I do do this. Um, everything's going to get scrubbed within an inch of its life, and it needs it anyway. You know how it gets after after Christmas. So my big deal today is to clean and clean and clean. I did scrub the floor in the living room last night. I want to vacuum the furniture. Um, I want to get it good. Do I feel like doing it? Absolutely not. I'll get into it. So that's the first big deal. Clean today and tomorrow. You do not do anything New Year's Day. All right, so cleaning. It's bad luck to clean in on New Year's Day. Nothing leaves. Okay, we got that. Um, You're supposed to be stocked up on everything that you want because if you have abundance for New Year's, you'll have abundance all year. I don't think I stocked up, but I'm not ill-prepared for an apocalypse, so I think I'm okay. No laundry on New Year's Day, so get all your laundry done. Um, I will will definitely throw in a load of laundry today, too. Round is good luck. I think some of us probably already knew that. So New Year's Eve, you should have some coins in your pocket. That will bring you luck. Big deal, you're supposed to have money on you. If you have money on you at midnight, you'll have money in 2024. I've been doing that for the last two years. What I've actually been doing is pinning a $100 bill. I hope I have a $100 bill. I don't think I do. Um, And I wear it to bed. And really, it's probably all in my mind. But the last two years have been the best for me financially that it's been in a very long time. So... I'm going to keep that tradition alive. Um, Round coin in your pocket, money, okay? Um, Just before midnight, all your windows and doors should be open. I do do this. Um, That makes sure that the old year leaves and anything bad leaves with it or any evil if you want to go that way. Um, Wouldn't be a bad idea to sage your house if you you believe in that S-A-G-E. I have done that sometimes. When I've been really, really upset about something. And a couple years ago, I really had a bad experience at this house. So the next day I got my sage out and went around the house and you you could do affirmations with it. Um, And you know, for me, really take it all with a grain of salt, please. Um, I just think, throw everything at the wall and see what sticks. So I was walking around the house saying like, evil be gone, (laughs) get out. Um, Hey, If nothing else, it clears your mind. So open all the doors, let everything out. The other thing is before midnight, sweep. And not vacuum, sweep. Because you're supposed to be sweeping out 2023. 
and sweep it out the door. Don't sweep it up, pick it up and throw it away. Just sweep out the door. Why not? It's another thing that keeps your house clean. At midnight, and I do this and it's hysterical. Go outside just before midnight, just before the countdown. Out the uh, front door, run around the house. It's good luck to run around the house. I don't know why. And come in the back door. It, what that does is take 2023 good, bad, or otherwise. I see. I swear I see things. Um, <laughs> and it, it takes it out with you. And then you come in the back door to start a new year. And it is front door to back door. I don't know why, but I do it. Um, so I run around the house, go in the front and out the back. A couple years ago, uh, Debbie Rose was out there at midnight and she had her phone on with wolves howl, howling so that it was as weird as we both thought it was. Um, and she just laughed at me. But bad luck supposedly follows you out. Everything is to clean out the house, which is kind of what you want to do for a fresh start anyway. On the stroke of midnight, you want to start the year on your right foot. Now, if you're not up at midnight and you get up to pee 45 times like I do, the first time you get up after midnight, you step out of bed onto your right foot because you want to start the new year right. If you know you're left from your right, do it. New Year's Day, things you're not supposed to eat. No poultry, because poultry um, can fly, so it'll, good luck flies away. And also poultry, chickens walk backwards, so you're regressing instead of moving forward. Same thing with seafood. Um, lobsters and crabs walk sideways, so you won't be getting anywhere. So no seafood. You can do fish. You can do pork. Pork is actually good luck. Um, I won't do any of the above. I don't know what sweets are, but if I'm going to start the new year the way I want the rest of the year, sweets. And very important, however you feel on New Year's Day will carry you through the year. So think good thoughts, no crying, no feeling badly for yourself. I know it's easier said than done, but, you know, think good thoughts. Um, Manifest what you want 2024 to be like. All of this can only help. And more than anything else, it's fun. What I really do do is the sweeping, the cleaning. I don't do anything like that on New Year's Day. Um, and I always do the money so that I'm setting myself up in my brain for the best year I can have and start on the right foot. So the rest of the day... I'm going to be cleaning like a maniac, doing my laundry, getting rid of all the trash so that nothing else has to go out on New Year's. And that should keep me out of trouble for most of the day. If I'm up New Year's Eve, I will film a little runaround. If not, first time I get up during the night, it'll be right foot first and... Um, We'll move into 2024. So everybody, get off the couch, clean, do your laundry, get your trash out. I'm done. <laughs>